Hey everyone, happy Friday. This is Gil with GG Tactical and Outdoors. Today we're going to be reviewing the Tonto version of the Claymore knife. <clears throat> these are already out um, in the marketplace, so um, these are ready to buy. There's no holding back. And um, these are the new Tonto configurations. So if you uh, are familiar with the Benchmade Claymore design, the original one, it was a uh, drop point configuration. This year, 2023, Benchmade has released the Tonto variation. So there's four different models that we have. This is the full size, not the mini. We have the 9071 BK, the 9071 BK-1, the 9071 SBK, and the 9071 SBK-1. It's a mouthful. So four different configurations. Two of them are without the serrations, uh, which would be available in the black and then they're calling this the Ranger Green. And then we have the other two with the restoration. So let's just take a closer look and see what we got here. So uh, as you've already seen in the previous uh, video that we did on the 290, that one had the Warncliffe design uh, blade. This is something new, the Tonto configuration. So super aggressive looking. The handle is um, identical to the other model, Claymore design. So it's got the... The Brill uh, symbols here, I believe it stands for uh, this way forward or point this way away from you. So we've got the nice uh, textured handles here and you can see the button. It's actually not recessed. It sticks out just a bit above the, uh, the handle there. So in this instance, yes, it's a good idea to have the, the safety here. So this sucker won't deploy accidentally. You know, it, there's probably a good chance that it might uh, deploy in your pocket or not, but either way, at least you got the safety. And let's take a look at the reverse side. So I really, really dig these uh, angular, um, these angles here on the blade. I think it's really super aggressive. And uh, I know it's kind of hard to see where the lines are here, but just take my word for it. They, this is a very, very aggressive design um that Benjamin has produced so that's the black one and then here's the uh ranger green so my personal preference is i like to have a little uh different colors in my uh in my personal collection so i have so many of the black handled knives it's nice to have something um you know different in your rotation or at least in your collection so if it were me i'd probably get the uh, the ranger green one so let's take a look at the serrations. So this is great for cutting rope or strapping material if you're out in a warehouse. Obviously being the black class, this is gonna be more of a tactical configuration. So let me go ahead and just read you the manufacturer's uh, description on this particular knife. Originally conceived for law enforcement and military personnel, the Claymore's mission was always to be a lightweight push button automatic that fires with authority and doesn't compromise strength or durability. Thanks to a reinforced Tonto blade profile, this variant of the Claymore doubles down on force projection for the maximum defense and self-reliance in any situation. Ooh. All right, so the blade length on this is 3.6 inches. Overall open length is 8.6 inches. The closed length is 5.0 inches even. And it weighs at 3.87 ounces. So let me set these aside and do a quick comparison with the... Uh, other flavors, so we've got, this is the original drop point. And then here's the uh, the Tonto, let me just move that over here so we can get that in the camera. So there's that, and let's take a look at the Mini. So if you're not familiar, the Mini just came out recently, only in the drop point. That was probably released on about a week or two ago. And I really like it, it's a you know, nice secondary backup knife. So in the event, if you were to lose your primary knife, at least you've got to back up one or, you know, if you're in a defensive position or uh, where you lose your primary, at least you got your backup knife, right? So you can see overall, it just shrunk down. And let's see, I have the original Benchmade 535 bug out. So you can see quite a bit of difference. And then also in the weight, this is extremely lightweight, just under two ounces. This is 3.87 ounces. 
And last but not least, I have a Protec Malibu flipper. So you can see the different size variation there. So the blade steel that they use on the, um, the Claymore, it is, let's see, CPM D2. So D2 is typically, um, you know, a really tough uh, blade. So this, you know, it's not a superior premium type of uh, blade material like M390, but, you know, it gets the job done. The price point on this, the retail is $260, and the map price would be $234. So if you watch the immunity uh, video, that one retailed at $300, and the um, map price was $270. So $270 versus $234. So $234 is the price for any one of these different flavors. So it's kind of interesting that that immunity, it's a smaller knife that... Uh, it's actually more expensive, but I think it's because of the handle material. This is more a grivery type of a material. The uh, immunity was a um, aluminum. And then also the steel. This is a CPM D2 steel. So again, it's not um, you know premium quality steel. So anyway, let us know what you think. We're going to leave the, um, the specs down below just above the comments section. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. It's almost the weekend. Um, graduations nearby father's day is nearby so uh, these would probably make some really great gifts especially for the uh, military family member in your life or law enforcement uh, member as well so anyway let us know what you guys think um is it what do you got do you like the tonto version of the claymore i think it's really cool uh, especially with the serration this would be very utilitarian um i i would carry this knife i think it's very uh practical Again, this is not a custom piece. These are all productions. So, um, you know, if you ever were to, you know, wear one down, you could easily get another replacement knife as well. So I would definitely use this out in the field uh, if I had to. So anyway, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and to help us grow to a thousand members, we'd like to definitely reach that by the end of the summer, if not sooner. And um, we thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.